how to program the elevator or perimeter entrance card reader. Notice that it is the uh, reflective black finish and it's directly connected to its uh, controller over here. As you can see, here are the wirings for the connection to the controller for the reader. And also here is an output board for the uh, controller. We're gonna program it using the tablet lock programmer. So open your DTU application and click on yes on the pop-up. Usually it will ask you for the staff code and the password. Put in your staff code and password and then click on the login button. Make sure it's IRDA and press OK. You're at the main menu. From the main menu, we're going to select lock initialization. Press OK. Just make sure the date and time is correct. If it is correct, you can press OK. And we're going to select EVU for elevator or entrance uh, unit. Press OK. The room number is not really important for EVUs. It's not going to matter. What's most important is the room range. So we're going to tap the three dots next to room range and set it. Room range means the range of keys which this card reader will accept. So let's pretend this is an entrance door. You want to put the lowest room number in the start, the highest room number in the end. And usually entrance doors will only have one output that's connected to a locking device, such as a electric strike or a uh, magnetic lock. If your controller is connected to an elevator, the uh, outputs would lead to the elevator's controllers instead. If it's divided by uh, certain floors, then you would have an output for each floor. Otherwise, the output would just be uh, generally for all the floors. We're gonna press OK. Next thing to look at is the guest start and guest end. These are the uh, times which guests are allowed access to this door. If you want 24-7 access for the guests, you can leave the start and end as both zeros. If you want this door to just stay unlocked where people don't have to use their keys and they can just walk in and out during certain times of the day, you can set the auto time zone, tap three dots, and you can set a period of time uh, throughout the day in which the door will just stay unlocked. For this case, I'm just going to leave it uh, not set because I don't want people walking in for free. I'm going to press OK. And another setting to change is the time for emergency unlock. This means that this door will stay unlocked for a certain period of time when you use the emergency card on it. And for this case, I'm just going to set that to five seconds. By default, it's set to zero, which means the door will stay unlocked forever. And you probably don't want that to happen. So set it to five. Yeah, that's my recommendation. And press confirm. You're ready to send the signal. We're going to send out the signal first. We'll use the DTU card to get that yellow light. Press send. And aim the tablet at the card reader. Initialize succeeded. It's going to be blue for a little bit and then it's going to disappear. Takes a while. There it is. Now we're going to test it with a guest or resident key. Use it on the uh, card reader. Notice how the output lights up red when I use the card. Let's do that one more time. So take a look at that output board. See, it's red and it causes the locking device to unlock or the door to open. Let me show you another setting. This is for um, elevators usually. If you want to restrict access to certain outputs, take a look at this example. So room range, a little bit more outputs here. So guest keys from 101 to 199 will only have access to output one, which is, let's just say it's floor one. Guest keys uh, two, 201 to 299 will have access to two floors, the first and the second floor. And guest keys 301 to 399 will have access to all three floors. So let's test this out. I'm going to program it. 
Send out the signal. Use the DTU card. Program the lock. Okay, it succeeded. Let's wait it out and we'll test the keys. Guest room 101. Only one output. Guest room 201. Two outputs. And this would be a staff key, which should, ha which should have access to all the floors. All three outputs light, light up, which means that key will be able to access all floors in the property. And lastly, for troubleshooting, let's go over a few examples here. An example here is this card reader that's constantly slowly blinking red. Play that. You see that? Slowly blinking red. This means that this is a brand new card reader and it's never been programmed before. So if you use your DTU card on it, it will uh, light up yellow and uh, you should be able to program it. The next example is a card reader that is slowly, constantly blinking green and non-responsive to any keys used on, used on it. What that means is that the blue and brown wires on the connection from the card reader to the controller is either loose or it got swapped. So check these two two wires, the blue and the brown wires, to make sure that's securely connected. Then you can turn it off and turn it back on and see if that changes anything.